What Mercedes just did with Hamilton is insane. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is frustrated. Hamilton says Mercedes in no man's land at Imola. And Mercedes responds with this. Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton said Mercedes are in no man's land after he finished Sunday's Emilia Romagna Grand Prix in sixth place and 35 seconds behind Red Bull's race winner, Max Verstappen. Teammate George Russell finished seventh, and Mercedes have fallen further behind in the Formula One constructors' standings, fourth overall at 79 points, while third place McLaren, who also use Mercedes engines, have 154. We are in no man's land. There wasn't much more for us to get today, Hamilton said. It is where we are, and we have to do the best we can, and that is the best we could do today. Hamilton will move to Ferrari at the end of the season, and was racing in Italy for the first time since that was announced. Russell also referred to no man's land, but said the once dominant team was still super motivated. We have got to just keep pushing. The car was capable of P6 and P7, and that is where we finished. Team boss Toto Wolff said Mercedes has taken a small step forward. Our closest competitors have also done so recently, but we have closed the gap to the front a little. We still have a lot of work to do, and, of course, we are all frustrated finishing P6 and P7, Wolff said. There is more to come, though, and... It is all about making incremental gains. Lewis Hamilton says Mercedes's upgrades made little difference to their overall performance at the F1 Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Mercedes introduced the latest batch of updates to their troubled and inconsistent W15 at Imola, following on from the first part of an upgrade package that debuted in Miami two weeks earlier. Hamilton finished sixth in Sunday's Grand Prix one place ahead of his two-stopping teammate George Russell with the front-running Mercedes, finishing some 35 seconds behind Red Bull's Max Verstappen, who took his fifth victory in seven races. The seven-time world champion downplayed the impact of the updates after the race, saying they made not a big difference. Hamilton added, They are small steps, but very, very small. My pace in the second stint stint was comparable to the guys towards the front, but we're still, I think we're still lacking two or three tenths. Despite the seemingly minimal step forward, Mercedes boss Toto Wolff said he feels more confident. His side are not on the right development path after two frustrating seasons of underwhelming competitiveness. I think that what we're seeing on the car now is that those incremental gains that we are bringing rather than a miracle update are getting the car in a better balance window and making the car just have more performance, he explained. But it's these things where you gain a tenth or a tenth and a half, but at the same time, the other teams are making progress. We are on a trajectory where we are making the car better. We can see that. It's never like the share price going up like this. It will do like this, as long as the kind of direction is correct, and I feel more confident now. Hamilton made a sizable error during the race when he ran wide at Ack Minerali and took a trip through the gravel. I think about, probably about five seconds with that off, Hamilton conceded. Then that meant that I came out behind Fernando, and I lost another bunch of seconds there, so I think probably all in all, probably eight seconds. So, not ideal, but it didn't lose any positions. Accepting Mercedes have not done the best of jobs in recent times, Lewis Hamilton is buoyed by their updates as they have found their North Star. Mercedes struggled in the first two years of Formula One's ground effect aerodynamic era, prompting a complete overhaul of their Formula One car in the winter. Mercedes have found their North Star, but change takes time. Additional reporting by Thomas Marr. Having already scrapped the Zero Pod concept last year, this year's W15 saw the team redesign the side pods, nose, rear suspension, and cockpit positioning to name just a few changes. The results, though, haven't been what the team expected, with Toto Wolff speaking of early season correlation issues. But putting new parts on the W15 in Miami and Imola, 
Hamilton believes Mercedes are moving in the right direction as they found the North Star to chase with the car's development. There's a long way to go, he told the media, including PlanetF1.com at Imola. I'm just really excited for the developments that are coming. We had a step in the last race, and we have a step this weekend, and there's more in the pipeline. I feel like we have found more of a North Star in what we need to do and change. It just takes time. But the energy in the team is amazing. They are so resilient in this team. They are continuing to push, even though we have been knocked down quite a few times. We are going to continue to keep our heads down and stay focused and do the best job we can each weekend. The second story is George Russell told to demand Mercedes bonus as his family react after Hamilton orders. Ted Kravitz told George Russell he should demand a bonus from Mercedes in front of his parents. That came after he'd conceded sixth position to teammate Lewis Hamilton in the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Russell was on aging tires towards the climax of Sunday's race at Imola, so he was brought in to pit. That allowed Hamilton, who had stayed out six laps longer earlier in the race, to move past him on track. He was told he wouldn't get the position back, despite questioning the engineers, meaning he'd have to settle for six points in the Drivers' Championship instead of eight. But he did manage to get one of those points back by setting the fastest lap a minor boost for Mercedes in the constructor's standings. Addressing the situation on Ted's race notebook, Kravitz said, I would suggest if I was Mercedes, I would give George some kind of bonus and a sort of thank you very much present for sacrificing the glorious P6 and getting the fastest lap for the team. He then approached Russell's parents, Steve and Allison, who were speaking to his Sky Sports colleague, Naomi Schiff, and laughed off the suggestion. If I was George, I would demand an extra tot of rum, going back to a sort of naval tradition, Kravitz continued, or at least free strawberry milkshakes from Mercedes for life, for gloriously giving up sixth place, which should have rightly been his today. Russell took it on the chin, telling Sky in his post-race interview, you're never going to be happy with P6 and P7. At the end of the day, as a team, we scored an extra point. I lost my position to Lewis, but I'm not going to sulk over losing a P6. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff explained the team's decision for the pit stop. His lap times were getting slower and slower, and our forecast saw he was not going to make it to the end, and we didn't want to lose the position to Perez, Wolff said. Lewis would have probably taken him anyway. The point being that we are racing for P6 and P7 and wanted to keep the Red Bull behind. It was a safety call. The third story is Toto Wolff is angry, but Mercedes W15 F1 car has architecture to catch Red Bull. Toto Wolff admits he is angry at Mercedes' current competitive state, but believes the team's 2024 F1 car now has the architectural baseline needed to catch Red Bull. Mercedes have introduced upgrades at the last two races in Miami and Imola in a bid to cure their struggles to strike a balance between performance in high-speed and low-speed corners, a major weakness of the inconsistent W15. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell took 6th and 7th in Sunday's Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, but the lead Mercedes finished over 35 seconds adrift of Red Bull's Max Verstappen, who claimed his fifth win in seven races. I think we never had such clear indications like we've had in the last few races where we really saw that the car was either going really fast in the high speed or in the low speed, but never both of them together, Wolf told media, including Crash.net at Imola. That's something that we are able now to slowly dial out. Wolf conceded Mercedes' current level of performance is simply not good enough but stressed the eight-time Constructors World Champions are now on the right path after two seasons of zigzagging. I don't know how often I use the stable platform. I think a stable platform is a car where you know which development direction to take, he explained. Where you think you can be in the best performance, and that has been the zigzagging over those last years. And there have been these false dawns, absolutely. But I think, there is a fundamental thing that we haven't spotted when we should have. That's why there's more confidence at the moment. 
Having said that nothing in this sport is for granted, we are where we are. It's not good enough. You can hear in my voice I'm angry and just got to do a better job. Asked whether the W15 now has the correct aerodynamic architecture to close the gap to Red Bull, Wolf replied, yeah, it does. The basis of the car is more conventional in the sense of defining where we want to have downforce and how we want to generate aero efficiency. We pretty much know where this is going and this is the advantage to let's say the two years prior. George Russell was not left overly concerned after losing a position to Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton in the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix following a late pit stop with the pair ultimately ending the event in P6 and P7. It was a mostly quiet afternoon for the Silver Arrows in Imola.